Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I got another little rant video for you. I'll try to keep this one short. I used to go to a lot of concerts when I was younger. I haven't gone to very many concerts recently, and there's a reason for that, and I'm gonna get into that. But, like, I've been to quite a few shows. I've seen Red Hot Chili Peppers live, I've seen Foo Fighters live, I've seen Blink-182 live, I've seen Coldplay live, I've seen U2 live, I've seen Alter Bridge live, I've seen System of a Down live. So, like, I used to go to a lot of concerts. But this video is about a company that I'm actually not very fond of anymore, and that is Ticketmaster. They are kind of the only game in town when it comes to buying tickets and they they've kind of made it that way so that like most artists have to use them to pretty much play any venue that they want to play there are a lot of videos that kind of go into the details on this that are do it a lot better than what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna talk about how bad the resale epidemic has become because it's gotten pretty bad and i've got a pretty good example here so let me try and show you what i mean here so, I've got open, I'm just looking at the Guns N' Roses show that's playing at BC Place in October, which is close to me, and, and I'm actually going to look at the most expensive tickets, the VIP packages, and I'm going to do that for a reason, because they've got the, uh, the actual VIP package, the, like the retail ones that you can get, and then the main ones, the front and center ones, the only ones that are available outside the pit, are just resale ones. There are some good tickets available to the show, but we're just going to look at the resale VIP packages here. Because the retail price of them, the maximum retail price of the VIP packages is 1586 Canadian per ticket. And that includes the little fee that you get with Ticketmaster and everything because they do that little processing fee. Now, remind you, when you buy the ticket... You, you pay the little processing fee, and, and, and Ticketmaster go, jumps through a lot of hoops to justify this processing fee. So when we look at this resale ticket, though, they've got it listed at $3,075 Canadian. Retail price is $1,586. And if you look at it, they've got it listed for $2,500, and then Ticketmaster has tacked on another $575 for the fees. And that's after they've already sold it once with fees. And now it's on for resale. So, like, this is a big problem in North America. Like, resale tickets have become a massive problem uh, pretty much everywhere. Governments have actually stepped in a f in a few places, like the UK, where they've actually limited resale tickets and stuff like that. And an obvious example is Taylor Swift. I actually couldn't use her as an example because the scalping was so bad on her shows that now in order to even see the prices on tickets, you have to be part of her fan club, and I am not, and I didn't join it before making this video so I could at least see the ticket prices. There's an obvious solution to this, which is just to either not allow resale tickets or to take refunds from people who can't go to the show. like. Every other retail business does this if you can't use the product or you can't go to the show. Like, if you can't go, if you buy tickets to a movie and you can't go, you can go back to the Cineplex and, and they'll refund you. But Ticketmaster does not do refunds. They're really annoying about it. Even if the band says the cancels the show, Ticketmaster usually won't even refund that processing fee. But again, it has gotten so bad that in certain cases for people in Canada and the United States, it's actually cheaper to buy a plane ticket over to the UK to see a show there, to see a show in an arena there, rather than buying a ticket in your hometown. That's how ridiculous it's gotten. But anyway, uh, I don't want to go too long on this. I'm just not fond of Ticketmaster or their practices, but I would really like to know what you guys think. Please let me know in the comments down below, and let me know what you think of this issue in general and anything that you've wanted to go to but you haven't gone to because of the prices or resale tickets. Let me know. Anyway, thanks again for checking out this video. I will see you guys in the next one.